we went to the Festival of Trees last night. We're at the Festival of Trees! Yep, we're just about to buy our tickets. They show them like... Ooh! So if you don't know what this is about... It's actually a really, really cool fundraiser for Primary Children's Hospital. I have to go to the bathroom. Why? We just got here. We literally just walked in the door. Uh, it was my first time ever. I was a Festival of Trees virgin. So the Festival of Trees started 48 years ago with 60 trees by 15 women. And they raised $47,000 their first year, which is pretty amazing. But now, the area that they use for the Festival of Trees spans over 220,000 square feet of display space. And that includes 700 trees. I was thinking you guys should do one for me. Family of paper. Oh, okay. Two. Okay. You get the presents Mom told me. Yeah, but what are they? It's a surprise. Boxes, empty boxes. Ah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> A gift boutique, a sweet shop, wreaths, and door decorations. Centerpieces. Caprice. What? Did you touch that thing? No. Caprice. I didn't. You did? No. Are you lying? Yes. Gingerbread houses. Because she loves pink. Mm -hmm. And backyard playhouses. Check this one out. It's Cosmo's Cottage. Look at the railing, how cute. There's a little loft. And nativities. This is not a nativity. That one's cute. Oh, the one you guys are doing. I know, you sent us a picture or something. Oh, yeah. Um, so last year in 2017, the Festival of Trees raised $2.7 million. It's only two thousand dollars. That's what I'm talking about. You want you want that bug? Yeah. That Volkswagen bus for my babies. How much goes to the kids? One hundred percent goes to the kids. Yep. Pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 2018 48th anniversary of the Festival of Trees. This event it is an annual event that benefits 100% child charity care in a primary children's hospital. A lot of the trees were donated from friends and family of patients in the children's hospital or in memory of, and it just kind of brings tears to your eyes. It's really sad. It put like uh, a picture of the individual that either passed away or that is struggling with like all their tubes and uh, you know. Everything is donated. They donate the paper for the flyers, they donate the tickets, they donate the people volunteer, they donate all of the trees, all of the toys, all of the everything that's on display is all donated and nobody gets anything from it. There's not like sponsors and logos all over the place, like it's legit. It's crazy. <laughs> in the face yesterday too, so I have this nice bump on my cheek on the inside. I just punched myself in the jaw. Did you do that? I was just going like this to move my purse and I let go and just clocked myself in the face. Hopefully you learned your lesson. And I bit my cheek and my tongue. <laughs> that was fun. 
<laughs> I was laughing so hard. <laughs> when we grow up, we want to decorate a tree for the Festival of Trees. Look at how clever this tree is. It's a penguin. And it goes to a good cause. So hopefully at some time in the future we can donate a tree and maybe even get a tree. It would be fun. Yeah. That's <laughs> my team. We need this tree. talking about. Ooh, I want this one. Me too. It's I believe that we will win. <laughs> this one's going to be Skylar's favorite tree of the good. night. Okay. Yes it is. Look at all the games it comes with. So many games. So many much games. They even have exploding kittens. Yes. Ticket to ride. First journey. Wap and sock em robots. Code names. It's a really great event. Um, for those of you that don't know about it and or that don't live in Utah, you should come and do it and come and walk through and look at the trees next year. It's really fun and very creative and different and Christmassy. For leash, not be dog. <laughs> like videos like this, like this video to see more like this. And subscribe because we need kept up with. And comment so that we can keep up with you. So you're going to go with me next year? Yes. For the kids. <laughs>